Hello. What's up, tribe? What's up, tribe nine? Each nine, teach nine. Hello. How y'all doing? What's going on? It's Saturday. Happy Saturday. I know it's early. It's late. What's up, jackpot? Hey, man. What's up, 25? Tell me where you're jumping in from. I'm not going to be long. I just got something to show y'all. Y'all know I like to lead by example. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on? How my tribe doing? <clears throat> Everybody say, hey, 1977, what's going on? She a sweetie. What's going on? What's going on? Hello, hello, hello. Thank y'all for joining in. Checking in, checking in. Check your okay. I hear you. How y'all doing? I'm doing well. Alabama in the house. Hi, Virginia in the house. What's up? I am. I am. Peoria, Illinois in the house. Okay. Well, it's Saturday. Y'all got a little bit of time. And I'm not going to take up much of it. I just wanted to jump on for a quick moment because my Richmond in the house, Texas in the house, Boston in the house. Thank y'all, Texas. Uh, my tribe is uh, riding with me. I'm from New York. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. My tribe is in there that's wanting to become first time homeowners. Y'all been doing so well. Oh, and I'm just so proud of y'all. Y'all are just, y'all killing it. Y'all, um, I stayed in the covenant for 10 years. Did you now? Okay. She said I did. She had to DM me. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm really proud of y'all who want to be homeowners and who are taking the risks to jump into it. Y'all know I don't push homeownership on anybody. Mm -mm. Y'all said that lady don't do that. She try to help you get what you want. But so, but you know, I know a lot of people say, California in the, in the house. What's up? A lot of people say, you need to tell folks they need to do this and they need to do that. I don't tell nobody what they need to do. No, I don't do that. I'm over here for the ones that say, Miss Courtney, I want to own a subdivision like yours, or I want to own some rental property, or I just want to own my own home. I'm just here to help expose them to options in doing that. I ain't here to tell nobody. You need to, everybody, if you want to build wealth, you got to own real estate. No, I don't do that. Y'all know I don't do that. I ain't telling y'all what y'all need to do. I'm still trying to figure out what I need to do with myself and my husband of 26 years. We still taking it day by day. Every day we wake up and try to decide we still want to be with each other. That's what we doing. So I definitely don't have no energy to be trying to tell other folks what they ought to be doing. What I do do though is share my knowledge. So I share what I know. And I know how to build a subdivision with 51 houses. How to keep that subdivision. Because I still maintain ownership of it. And trying to figure out how to transfer it to the next generation i think i got the bugs out of that i think i just about got enough of these young people working with me that we didn't figure out just about how we're gonna transfer it to the next generation okay but uh i wanted to jump on because my tribe that i'm working with some people who have you know there we go each one teach one but over here we say each nine teach nine and out of in honor of the little rock nine because we flipping the block over there at little rock central high where the nine, the brave nine young kids kicked in the door and said, all kids should go to school. All kids should be able to go to school. Black, white, green, yellow, orange, gay, straight, we don't care. All kids should be able to go to public school for free. And the Little Rock Nine, nine black kids risked their lives so that education could be free for everybody over there. And because they did that, I, I graduated from Central in 1982. So we say each nine teach nine over here. That's why we tribe nine. We flipping the block over there, all right? But I want to talk about my people who I'm working with who have some challenges with credit. I'm, I'm talking to some credit restoration people now. I just have to do my homework for y'all. Y'all know that. I got a lot of people that want to re work with you all, but I had to do my homework. I don't want to bring people on my live and they just trying to sell you something. No, I got to have people on here that really care about y'all that's trying to help y'all get your credit straight because I don't know how like, credit restoration and stuff work. I ain't finna be lying to y'all and tell y'all I know how to do all that. Mm -mm. I don't know how to do all that, but I get people reach out to me all the time and they want to come on and help you all get your credit and stuff straight. So I'm just taking a little time and vetting them and making sure that they are the right people for my community because y'all entrust me. Y'all trust me, so y'all entrust that I'm going to bring y'all good people, so I have to do my homework. I can't just have people in there trying to get some money from y'all, okay? So... I want to tell you all about the ones that are doing really well on the for sale by owner. I've been teaching y'all on for sale by owner. Some of y'all who are already bought the course, if you haven't bought it, hit the link in my bio. I think it's 199 bucks, but I got about mm, got about 150 of y'all in there that I'm working closely with that are buying properties for sale by owner. 
y'all are killing the game y'all killing the game but don't forget the basics of what i tell y'all don't forget because i know what i'm talking about the only reason y'all listening to me because i know what i'm talking about y'all wouldn't be listening to me if y'all thought i didn't because my tribe is too smart for that they don't just go on live and start listening and doing what other people say do no they trust but verify they make sure they know what they're doing and if you haven't trust but verify hit the link in my bio and Google Earth will take you to my 51 home subdivision. Yes, not me. Google Earth. And you can't pay Google Earth to take nobody nowhere that don't exist. So hit the link in my bio. It will say Google Earth. And Google Earth will touch that. And Google Earth will take you straight to my subdivision. So you know I know what I'm talking about. I know how to develop a subdivision. Okay? And if I can do a subdivision, I can help you get a home. You guys have been doing great with the owner finance. And getting past your fears of reaching out to these people. I told y'all it wasn't as bad as you thought. And for you all who are having to have me hold your hand, stop feeling bad about that. Somebody held my hand. Yes, somebody held my hand. You think I just built 51 houses by myself? I keep telling y'all I had so many mess ups, so many screw ups, so many crying nights, so many gaining weight, so many losing weight. Stop being so hard on yourself. We all, people get help all different kind of ways. Some people can just look at it online and not have to have any questions answered. Some of you all are having to have me, I'm having to hold your hand. You're sending me contracts. You're sending me your script. We're going over the script, different stuff like that. So it's okay. You in my class. I'm good with that. Don't worry about it. You know, I'm getting the DMs. I know you think I'm dumb, and I'm just so sorry. I don't think you're dumb. I think you're brilliant. You keep asking me questions. That's what brilliant people do. You're brilliant, darling. You keep asking me questions. You send me your stuff. Does this look right? What do you think about that? I'm just grateful I'm not so busy yet that I still can get to you all like that one-on-one because the day is going to come when I won't be able to do it one-on-one. I have to do it all by Zoom, or I'll have so many of you I can't get to you like I want but right now why you got it enjoy it, baby don't be thinking that I don't think nothing I don't think you dumb I don't think you crazy I think you brilliant I think you smart I think you trying to figure it out and I commend you okay so y'all know that I tell y'all when you see the golden sign what is the golden sign for my students y'all know the ones who got bad credit I don't like to say bad credit. The ones who have challenging credit that they're working on. They got challenging credit that they're working on. Y'all, this, y'all say, Miss Courtney, she teach us in the class the magical sign to look for. This sign gets us started. You know, we drive for dollars. So we go driving. What's driving for dollars if you ain't in my class? You ain't about the course? You Don't, don't worry about it. You, you get, look, worry about that when you get to it. This is a beautiful part of town in Little Rock. Beautiful. You see these beautiful condos? Beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. They are beautiful condos. I'm going to let you see them. Beautiful, quiet part of town. Real nice. Real, real nice. And I was driving around. See how nice they are? It's real quiet over here. There's some more of them over there. Some office buildings back this way. So it's real quiet. And I was driving down the street. And what did I see? I know some of y'all spotted it already. I'm going to turn around so you can see it. The magic sign I teach y'all to look for when you're trying to get an owner finance. For sale by owner. Look, there's one. There is one. Y'all see that? Did y'all see that? For sale by owner. That's the magic. You're going to see them everywhere. Don't be scared. The red and white sign. The black and white sign don't matter. It's all the same. For sale by owner. Did y'all see that? Y'all give me some hearts if y'all saw it. That's the first sale by owner sign. See? And when I'm driving, I'll pull over, turn around, do whatever to get that number and make that call and see, you know, you never know. Those people might be willing to own a finance it. I know a lot of people are willing to own a finance it. They're selling stuff that's for sale by owner. How do I know? Because I got over 200 students that I'm working with. <laughs> that's doing it already. So they know it works. But you just got to make the call first. Just make the call. I jumped out of my car, pulled my car over, and jumped over. I'm not getting a number and all that because I'm not trying to get no more property. No, no, no. I got it. I'm good. I'm almost 60. I'm good with what I got. But I want y'all to get everything y'all want. Mm-mm. Don't be afraid of that for sale by owner sign. It ain't going to bite you. Good morning. How are you? Good, good, good. My name is Pam Courtney. I was calling. Do you have a moment? 
Yeah, well, I was calling because I noticed you're for sale by owner sign in the yard. And it looks like you're selling the property. And oh, I'm so excited because I am interested in a piece of property over in that area. Has the property sold? No, it hasn't sold yet. Oh, thank God. I'm so excited. I was looking at the outside of it. It looks like a beautiful condo. So, are you are you the owner? Yeah, I'm the owner. I'm the owner. Okay, great. Well, you're the owner and I'm a buyer. <laughs> look, look at that. Isn't that amazing? You're the owner. <clears throat> you're selling and I'm a buyer. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, yeah, I can. It's three bedroom, two full baths. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Okay, wonderful. Well, the neighborhood looks really nice. Is it a nice neighborhood? Oh, yeah, it's a nice neighborhood. We've been over here 20 years. T really? Y'all been over there that long? Yeah, we've been there 20 years, 20 years. Okay. In the same condo? Yeah, we've been over here in the same condo. It's quiet over here. It's just quiet. It's real nice. Just real nice over here. Okay, okay. Well, it looks like it's two or three in a building, or four, three or four to a building, is it? Yeah, it is. Well, each building over here just got three condos in them. They'll get to talking. They'll get to talking. Be nice and polite. Good spirits connect with good spirits. Don't forget that. You ain't trying to sell them. You ain't trying to beat them out of their property. Don't go in there with that energy. You trying to get a good deal. And what's a good deal? To help them get out of their condo for a fair price and to help you get in it for a fair price. That's a good deal. Good deal. Good energy connects with good energy. Spirits, good spirits feel good spirits. So don't go in there with that shady. Home say, see, see, see if I can beat them out of something. You're going to beat yourself out of something. You ain't going to get nothing. You ain't going to get nothing. And I know exactly what I said with my country bunkin self down here in the south. You ain't going to get nothing. Don't start with that spirit. No, you're trying to get a good deal. You're trying to help them sell their condo because that's what they want, and you want to buy their condo. So, yeah, they got three or four over here, and uh, and we've been over here a long time. Okay, so three or four in each building. Yes, uh -huh, they are. Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, uh, can you tell me why you're selling it? Do you mind if I ask that? Is that too personal? Be courteous. Being courteous has gotten me in the doors that my education never could. I should know I did it. I should know I did it third grade twice. <laughs> they kicked me out of college the first year. I don't have any of them degrees, but I probably got about, I know I got at least five or six lawyers in my group. I know I do. I uh, got a couple of accounts. I got more MBA students than I can imagine, more PhD students than I can imagine. And I love to have them. They boss, boss, boss women. Being kind will get you indoors that a lot of things won't. So just be nice. Yeah, be nice. It ain't costing you nothing. So just keep talking and keep asking. Okay, okay, yes, ma'am. These people say, well, we don't say yes, ma'am. Well, we say it down here. So in Rome, you might want to do like the Romans. In Rome, you might want to do like the Romans. When I go visit my family in Chicago and they tell me and I be up there with them and they be like, and I be talking to people, I be like, yes, ma'am. They say, stop saying that yes, ma'am and no, ma'am. I'm like, y'all better get off my page. I'm who I am. Down here, we say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir. And you don't have to. I ain't telling you what to do. I'm just telling you about some things that can kind of get you in the door. That's what I'm telling you. It kind of gets you in the door. I should know. I got 51 houses. Okay. Okay, so you had a three and four bedroom? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, uh... Well, I was wondering, I see it's a for sale by owner. Is What's the asking price on it? Well, we asking $186,000. $186,000. Yes, ma'am, $186,000. Okay. Is that a firm price, ma'am? Is is that a firm price? Do you know if you all have any bit of wiggle room in it? That's my word. I don't like that negotiating room. Can you negotiate? I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I ain't putting y'all down. I'm talking about me. I say, do we have any wiggle room? You think we? And most time they say, yeah, we probably got a little bit of wiggle room. Oh, I like. I said, the Holy Spirit is working. The Holy Spirit is working. They say, yeah, we probably got a little wiggle room. I said, okay, okay. I said, well, you know, I just love Arkansas. I love Little Rock. I've been born and raised here my whole life. I'm almost sixty. I went to Little Rock Central High. You went to Central? My children went to Central. Or oh, my cousin went to Central. They know somebody went to Central. Yeah. Yes, I know that school. Yes, and I'm just, we doing really good. Get to talking. Be genuine, though. 
Don't try to come from an ugly, nasty place. Don't come from a conny place. Good spirit reaches good spirit. Yeah, I've been here my whole life. You have? Yes, ma'am. I'm the youngest of six, and all my sisters and brothers are here. We love, I guess we love Little Rock. They all here, and I'm almost 60, and I'm the youngest, and they ain't never moved away. I think one of my sisters moved away one time, but she came on back, so we all still here. Everybody still live here? Yes, ma'am. See, let me tell you what that's doing. That's letting her know that you are stable. That's letting her know that you know this city. You're probably not about somebody trying to buy it, flip it tomorrow, or trying to get it and might be just here for a couple of years or now she's going to try to resell it and stuff. You know this community. You've been in this community. You are anchor in this community. Been here all my life. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I have. Oh, okay, you have. Okay. Well, tell me what you're looking for, young lady. Ma'am, well, I've run into some... Uh, challenges with my credit and I'm working on rebuilding that and I'm looking for somebody that's willing to uh, allow me to uh, you know maybe pick up their note uh, maybe give them some money up front and maybe they can carry leave the house in their name or the condo in their name for a couple of years so I can finish working on my credit and probably won't take me a couple of years and I'm willing to make sure that we work go through a really good lawyer that you would be happy with hello did you hear what I said really willing to go through a really good lawyer that you would be happy with. Don't be telling me, I got my lawyer, and my lawyer gonna do it. Stop, 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 stop. We're trying to get in the door. You know, put your hunting outfit on. You know, you women, you know, y'all know them hunting outfits we wear. I wore one when I was trying to get Dr. Courtney, and it worked. I got him. Married to him 26 years. You know, that hunting outfit. That girdle, that cincher, all that stuff. Suck it up, put it in. Put that energy on. Same thing. Well, I, I can work with your lawyer, and I'll be willing to pay all the legal fees and everything so that um, you would feel comfortable selling it. If we could agree on a price and just kind of see what would be good for you and your family. Sounds like y'all got a for sale sign up. So it sounds like you all are interested in selling the property, and y'all want to sell the property. And I'm very interested in buying it. And I'm a native from here. This is home for me. I don't plan on going anywhere. Oh, okay. Well, we hadn't thought about doing that, but... You know, I, I guess we could look into it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's the sound I want to hear. Did you hear that? Don't worry about it. She said they weren't thinking about doing that. She said she said think you could look into it. Take what you got. So, well, that would be a blessing. That would be great if you could. That would be great if you could. I'm going to give you some information about me so you can check me out and all of the above. Do you mind if I ask what you're, you're, you're asking? 180, 190? Yeah, that's what we have. Have you all had it appraised lately? Do you mind if I ask that? Do you mind if I ask that? Courteous. My mother, I mean, my mother may have died when I was 12, but she sure in the heck taught me how to be courteous. Yeah, do you mind if I ask if y'all have a current appraisal on it? No, yeah, no, I don't mind asking, baby, but we don't have, last time we had it appraised, it's been like 10 years or so, but we still got that one if you want to see it, but you can probably look it up and see what it's worth, too, but it don't matter, we're not going to take a dime less than 198 Oh, no problem, no problem, I'm not trying to convince you to take a dime less, I was just curious to ask, don't be trying to convince them to come down when you don't have no credit, you don't have no nothing, you come and ask and beg and trying to get in, so don't be trying to Jew them down, then ask them to do something for you too. Be okay, no problem. I want if you firm on your offer, I'm not definitely not trying to turn you know take you down from that. Whew, let me get off here. Y'all in my class, hit the link in my bio. I'm gonna have to get off of here. Hit the link in my bio, okay? Hit the we got people. Hit the link in my bio, hit the link in my bio, grab my course. I, I'm giving out way too much stuff today, but I'm gonna remind y'all. For y'all who in my class, and for y'all who ain't in my class, y'all know what we call this, for sale by owner, that's a black card. That's like liquid money. That's like being liquid. That's like being liquid. So I'm gonna take y'all back to it, cause I was driving by. I was driving by and I saw it. I said, let me just, let me go back and make the block, cause this is what I teach my students. When you see that for sale by owner sign, you see that for sale by owner sign in the back? Y'all see it? Y'all see it? There it is. For sale by owner. For sale by owner. That's liquid cash. That's equity. That you're going to walk away with some money. You're going to figure it out. That's your second chance. Be bold. Make the phone call. Be courteous. Be nice. Be professional. Make the call. You won't get it if you don't make the call. And if you're my student, I'll be happy to hold your hand and help you through it. 
But for my students who are already doing it, y'all doing amazing. Keep doing it. Keep doing what you're doing. Please hit the share button. Y'all don't know. Somebody I might, might need some encouragement. Not everybody have friends to try to make them feel like they can accomplish their goals. Some of them be drinking a haterade. So you never know. Hit the share button and tell them, girl, you can do it. You can get your house. You can get your condo. You can get that business going, whatever. But today we're talking about houses, real estate, and condos. So hit the share button and say, Pam, say you want to own a house, buy a house, own a piece of real estate, investment property. It is doable. You can do it. And she should know. Hit the link in her bio and let Google Earth take you to her community of 51 houses and get a sky view. So she knows what she's talking about. Learn from those who have done it. Pay attention. Drive by. Look for those for sale by owner signs. And don't be afraid to call. See y'all next time. Thank y'all. See ya. Enjoy your Saturday. Hit the link in my bio to get connected. Bye.